mother's not going to be happy with you. Hey y'all, it's John Michael. And Monica. And crew. And, and everybody else involved. And crew. Hi guys! Hi. Hi. So we're doing the new and few adventure. That's right. And we're going to take y'all down the Virginia Creeper Trail. Woo. Here, we, Here go. we go. The Virginia Creeper Trail was once home to a railroad that provided freight and passenger transportation until 1977 when the last train ran. It was converted in the 1980s into a recreational trail for hiking, biking, and horseback riding. But today, this portion of the trail is mainly used by novice bikers like ourselves. So we took a shuttle from Damascus all the way up to the top of White Top Mountain. We got on the trail there. And now we're just pedaling, we're all kind of rolling downhill. The great part about this section of the trail is that it is mostly downhill. So if you're not an avid biker like myself, which I'm not an avid biker, <laughs> then this is the section of the trail you want to do. It is a 17 mile gradual downhill trail. We're a mile and a half in. We've stopped three times to pee, to eat, and to fix a broken bike. This is going to be a long trail. Let's keep riding. Just for all you ladies out there, uh, all of the bathrooms on the trail are closed that we have found so far. So just think about that. So we had a chain come off and Kayla has pliers. <laughs> um, I happen to carry pliers. Good job, Kay. I am so proud in this moment of my daughter. So yeah, and if you lose chains on a bike like this, you don't have brakes, by the way. It was so scary. <laughs> I had to put my feet down and there's like two feet little spots that I was like, <laughs> like the ground were like building up on top of my feet. Are your feet dirty? <laughs> no, they aren't. Yeah. They're All right, feet. your bike tire is back on. We're it's chains on. I can't get it super tight, but let's see what that does. Update, 77 minutes onto the trail. We've done six miles. It's no speed race with a family of this many. We are having fun. Trail's not too crowded. Um, everything's going well. So uh, yeah. bringing somebody their FedEx, like your FedEx package is on the way. Amazon delivery guy. So I was lured to do a 17 mile bike ride with the hopes that halfway through, I would get the world's best chocolate cake. We're here, they're closed. I don't get any chocolate cake. None. I'm heartbroken. Very. <laughs> At least we have some food though. So yeah. Closed Taylor's Valley. Um, so what are your impressions so far? Did I tell you all the restaurant was closed? I think we talked about that. Yeah, we it did. made an impact. All right. We did mention that, so we're all a little hangry. We're gonna have to go back to the house and- uh, Get salads. Get... Okay, so let's tell them about where we're staying in case anybody wants to come and do a trip like this because we did not bring the camper. So we did like a Airbnb or vacation rental. By owner. By yeah. owner. Uh-huh. And uh, this place is incredible. It's fantastic. It's called Smiling Hill Farmhouse and I'm gonna leave the link down below for you guys to check it out. Anyway, so that'd be a cool place to stay. Now, there are some campgrounds up here. There's one in Damascus. I don't know the name of it, but then there's one at the top of White Top Mountain also. It is called Creeper Trail Campground, I believe, and I'll leave the link down below to that one as well. So two camping options for you if you wanna come up here. We just could not find reservations in time for this trip, so that's why we did the um, vacation rental. So we rode to, was it Damascus? Mm -hmm. Left our trucks at the bottom then caught a kind of like a taxi like a shuttle yeah. shuttle up to the top of the mountain through 
Virginia Creeper bike rental. I will leave a link to them as well down below. They were great. So it's like 20 bucks for an adult and 15 for kids under the age of 12. Yeah, so they took us up to the top mm -hmm. of the mountain, dropped mm -hmm. us off, told us to have fun. Yeah, basically. And if you bring your own bikes, it's great. Bring all your own equipment. They'll take whatever you've got up the hill. Super nice people. Um, if you don't have bikes and you don't have equipment, they will rent it to you there at the store. Anything you need, helmets, whatever. Yep. So one thing to, to note about the trail is there is zero cell phone service anywhere on the trail pretty much. Um, so walkie talkies, if you have a set, would be a really good thing to bring. If your group's gonna get a waste car. Yeah, cause ours does. So what happened, Cor? Uh, we were a big bump and like it didn't fall off. And then I was like, wow, I'm okay. And then we were like a teeny tiny rock and it like And your wow. chain just fell off again, huh? Second time. See how many times. So, so what what just happened? There are bike patrol people in yellow shirts and helmets and hats. So are they like an the is that like an official thing? I guess so. They huh. had tools uh -huh. and we were able to tighten up the chain on Corey's bike, so she's good to go now. Awesome. Then Kayla had crooked handlebars. So guys, if you're gonna do this, bring a tool kit with a lot of tools that work on your bike. Or find the bike patrol as you go. Or find the bike patrol. We're done. So this is our first big time using the Kuat KUAT rack for four bikes. Uh, we did some research trying to find bike racks rated to hold the kind of bikes we're hauling. So far, very impressed with the rack. It stores them great, holds them good. Right up, up here, no problems with it. It's fairly easy to use. So it pulls these bikes great. You just kind of toss them in there. Hold on, so press that down. This locks in your front wheel. Yep. A little strap over the back wheel. Look at that. Good job, Gray. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Excellent. And you just push this down to lock it in and you're good to go. you're singing yeah we ain't gonna be swinging with you <laughs> how you like this house here well i'm gonna level with you let's hear it after our ride today the tuckus was a touch sore and this feels right on time monica fed me some ice cream brought me back home put me on the old front porch swing i'm happy you want some to leave probably trip um we hope you guys enjoyed watching it and um we will see y'all next week and we'll be back to the rv next week we just took a quick little break to show y'all something else fun you can do that's right so um place yep. to take your rv that's right yeah there you go we'll All see right. you guys bye